Good morning everybody in the last stretch video uh, I taught you how to turn the objects left and right and using what we know of our previous videos we will make our ping pong game um, so in this pong game uh, it is so much like brick break up and uh, basically you just have to bounce the a ball on the on a paddle and and stop it from touching the bottom so first of all let's open scratch type scratch the dot mit dot edu okay and then as you can see i'm already logged in so go to my stuff okay and let's create a new project Okay, so what we want is we need three objects. First of all, we need a ball, a pedal, and a end line. So let's delete this uh, sprite and let's um, go to uh, a new sprite. Use a sprite from library. Just get this ball. Okay, you can just shrink it by one or maybe a few more yeah that's fine and now uh, go again and as you scroll down there'll be a pedal um, let's see there are some buttons mm. yeah so here here is it's um, the pedal get that out and make it a little bit bigger or actually let's make the ball smaller all right and then put the pedals somewhere around this at this height and now for the end line we don't really have anything um, as such in uh, the library scratch library so we'll have to make one so you see this paint button right here paint new sprite click that and go to this rectangle uh, tool now on the bottom you will see two options one is the 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 outline option and one is the fill one select the fill option and with any color you like um, i'm just going to take red uh, start off from over here and draw a rectangle till the end of the screen. Yeah, then go to scripts, the, the changes will come. Okay, where is it? Okay, it's too low, so uh, okay, so it's exactly very the the um the rectangle is too low so go uh, choose the select tool and select the the rectangle and using this green button bring it up uh, about over there click on script again go to, oh okay now that's fine go to scripts uh the events tab when this is clicked, motion, go to block, make the X um, zero and the Y zero. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. And now let's just put the green flag. Yes, so it counts. Okay, now we want, first of all, we want our um, ball to uh, move. So for that, um, what we're going to do is, um, or actually let's uh, program the pedal first. So go to the pedal scripts, events, when the green flag is clicked, get that out. And go to the control section forever. So whenever this button over here is clicked, this script will run and inside the forever loop, anything that's inside there will run uh, for infinity times. Okay, 
Now after that, go go to motion and uh, go down and you see this set x set y block. Get that out and put it just above the forever loop, and set the y to. You can actually see the the x and y of the pedal right here. So as for minus minus hundred eight. So put it minus hundred and eight. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay. Now after that, inside the forever loop. What we do is uh, go to the uh, motion and uh, just set x block. Get one of that right there, and go to sensing. Uh, over here, you'll see the mouse x. Yeah, get that out and put it in. So what this what this one is doing? It's forever repeating and it um, forever uh, uh, making the pedal. Um, go to the mouse's x position, the x axis, the mouse left and right. So you wanna try that once? Click the green flag, and whenever you uh, move your mouse, the pedal moves with it. All right? Yeah. And um, also above that, put the set x just above the y, and make that zero. Okay. Okay, and now we want to um, uh, give a script to the ball so that it moves up and down. So go to the ball, events, when the green flag is clicked, and then after that, uh, so we basically um, want the ball to uh, just go in a random direction. So first, we're going to make it uh, get this, uh, go to loop. I mean, go to block and make this x zero, so it's in the center, and the y one sixty, so it's on the top. All right, and then the point and direction thing. Yeah, this is a new one. Get that out. So whenever we put this, the ball always points in a specific direction. So right now it's pointing in ninety, but we don't want it. We want it to point in a random direction. For that, go to the operator. Now over here, you see this pick random one to ten. Get that out. So point in direction, pick random one to ten. That basically means the computer will pick a random number from one to ten, and it will point it in that direction. So change the first number to one thirty-five. So it's basically one thirty-five degrees and two twenty-five. So it's now choosing a number between one thirty-five and two twenty-five. Okay. Um, now after this, go to forever, the forever, the the control section. Get the forever loop out, and inside this, go to motion, and get the move ten steps. So what it is doing till now is it's going to a like position or right over here somewhere. And then it is pointing in a in in a um, direction either in this direction, so basically downwards, and speaking a random direction, and forever, it is moving ten steps. So after that, for infinity times, it will keep on moving. Yeah, let's try that. Okay, now that that's not like a ball, is it? So what we need to do is whenever it touches the the edge, we want it to um, you know turn, uh, you want to just turn one eighty degrees. For that, there's a separate block down here. If on edge bounce, just put that under the move ten steps. Now let's try. Woohoo! It works. Okay, and what if we try to get the pedal between? Nothing really happened, and the ball is not bouncing. So what we need is um, we need to put another uh, loop, which is the if then loop. So put that under the if on edge bounce, and then go to the the sensing, and if 
touching the first one get that out and put it in the empty space and if touching you have an arrow click that you have the mouse pointer edge paddle and sprite one uh, choose the pedal now whenever it will it is touching the the pedal which is this we want it to turn 180 degrees so for that um we will go to motion and point in direction again and um, go to operators pick a random um minus one i mean minus 30 to 30 so it's basically using a um, a random direction from over here to over here so it'll go up now let's try so yes it works and now what if it touches the red line nothing happens now for this we need to just duplicate just right click on the if block and duplicate it and put it right under now instead of touching the pedal make it touching a uh, sprite one which is this sprite this one that we just made and instead of the point in direction go to control and right on the end you will have this stop all take that out so whenever it touches uh, this red line everything will stop and um, yeah so that's basically the game so you start playing and then it if it hits it everything just stops and it, then you can restart again by touching the green flag so yeah so you can add more changes to it um, as you would like but yes this is the main game um, called the pedal game and remember to name it the pedal ball game and also remember to save it from the icon right here it'll say save now and just click that yeah okay guys see you later bye bye